Hello there! So, um, I figured you all were probably ready for another tutorial. Um, this one is not a request. Uh, but it is something that inspired me. Uh, while perusing YouTube, because I do peruse, not just post, um, I came across a really good website. Uh, her screen name is I Love Gerardo, or Gerardo, I'm not sure which. But, uh, her name is Iris. And she has got some of the most awesome vintage inspired updos I have ever seen. And really gorgeous hair. Um, but she had done a tutorial um, inspired by Belle. Disney's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And it was beautiful and romantic and excellent. And the purpose of this tutorial is to show you that you can see somebody else's hairstyle. Take some of their stuff. It's not really stealing. It's just hair and reconfigure it to fit yourself. Um, I really loved her hairstyle. It is so romantic and pretty, but it's a little fancy for me because I don't really go anywhere where I need to be romantic and pretty. Um, so I repurposed it to something that is more fitting with uh, my own needs. Um, changed up a little bit. Uh, I have a little bit more length than she does, just a little bit. Um, and uh, she actually curls hers and her hair holds curl, which is awesome. Mine doesn't really hold curl that well and since I don't even own a curling iron anymore um, I had to switch it up a little bit. So what I am explaining all this mumbo jumbo for is that if you see one of my um, tutorials that you like but it's not quite working for you feel free to change it. Play with your hair. That's what you're supposed to do. So uh, I'm going to set a shout out and a thank you to Miss Iris for being an awesome inspiration and I'm going to show you my Iris inspired vintage updo. Alrighty. Um, this one's really pretty. I really like it. And I put it through a test yesterday evening. We had a band practice. I'm the drummer in my husband's band. And uh, I wore this updo. And it lasted through five hours of vigorous drumming and did not fall. None of my pins came out. So this one's a good one. All right, the first thing we want to do is separate a section from the front. Whichever side you usually part your hair on, part from there, but a little bit further, I guess. My natural part is right where my cowlick is. I know, I have bangs if I have a cowlick, but I part mine a little more to the side. You don't want to go too far back and kind of scoop it over, like so. Make sure I get some of the front. You don't need a really big piece. Oh no, I missed that. There you go. Like that. And that we are going to clip and put aside for a little while. That is going to be our finishing piece. So I'm just gonna twist it and quickly get it out of the way. just wrap. I think it's faster. Because I just don't want it messing. I'm going to get my bangs up out of the way a little bit too. There. So it doesn't interfere with the rest of our hair. Now what we're going to do with the rest of it is we're going to put it into three ponytails. Um, try and get them evenly spaced across the back of your head horizontally. And then we will continue from there. And since y'all already know how to put your hair up in a ponytail, I will see you after this transition. Alrighty, we're back. So this is what you should have so far. A little bit in front. If you have long side sweat bangs, that would be these. If you're like me and have little shorty bangs, um, I just took some extra. And if you have no bangs, just kind of do it like I did. Take a little extra. After that, you will have three ponies. One, two, three. Mine aren't completely evenly spaced, but that's okay because we're going to cover all that up. All right. Take your first ponytail. Get it smooth. Should I can go use my comb to make sure it's really smooth. And then we're going to twist it. Like you were going to do a rope braid. You know that kind of twisty? Yeah, we're going to twist it. Down to the bottom. Now 
like so. Then we're going to fold it in half, leaving a little bit extra on the end. That looks like about half. Yeah, there we go. And then let go. Okay, up here at the top, just to make sure that my ponytail holders are completely covered, I just wrap a little extra around those. That makes me happy. You know, I hate my works to show. All right, now you're going to grab the bottom of your loop and twist it. See how it kind of looks like a rope braid? All right, so we've got that nice and twisted. Now we're going to put a little bun around our ponytail holder, like so. It doesn't need to be super tight. You want it to be kind of loose because we are going for a little bit of a romantic deal. There, it feels decently loose. And then I use my uh, Good Hair Days hairpins, my Magic Grips, and I secure it. It should take approximately four of these to a bun. That's what it does for my hair. If you have less hair than I do, then you're probably not going to need as many. But I secure it in the compass fashion, north, south, east, and west, because I find that it tends to hold better that way for me. There we go. All right, that one's secure. On to the next one. This is what we're going to do with all three of them, exactly the same. Twist, fold it in half, and then pin it up. And after I get these other two done, I will be back again to show you what to do with the dealy do we've got clipped up front. See you in a minute. Alrighty, so all of our buns are pinned. You should have something that resembles this somewhat. It will never be exactly the same because every time you twist and pin, it'll look a little different. But for the most part, it's good, and it's not moving. So now, it's time for the finisher, which is this bit that we got rid of. Alrighty. So, you should have about that much left. And this, I'm actually gonna use the brush for. I know, my bangs are looking kinda whack, but that's okay, I'll fix them. <laughs> so, with what we have left here, we're going to twist just like we twisted everything else. But you want to start down a little further in your twist because what we want is a little bit of a poof. That's what gives it the, I'm gonna get my poof to work right. That's what gives it the bit of the uh, vintage flare, I think, is this little poof. There we go, that looks okay. Get up a little bit more. For the poof, you'll need bobby pins or whatever hairpins are your favorite. Um, and then to make it poof, I pin it in the X pattern so that it will stay. Remember, that's how you make bobby pins work for you. X pattern. Then they stay. All right, our poof's gone. Now, we're gonna twist this like we twisted the others. Fold her in half. Now what I usually do is go ahead and pin this so I don't get weird sticky uppy bitty bits right there. Pin that. And then twist this like so. Make yourself a little rosette, a little bun, like we did with all the ones on the back side. Just up here in the corner. And we'll pin those. Okay, there you go. Vintage inspired up to. Iris vintage inspired up to, I should say. I think it turns out really nice. As always, you can add a flower or whatever. Like I have this handy dandy, I don't know, it's a little flower or something. Stick it in there. 
add a little flair. I always love adding flair. If you find that it's doing a bit of this, coming out a little bit and you don't like it, you can always add more pins. Um, I kind of like the weirdo loopies because it looks a little softer and not quite as rigid. Um, but that's just my bag. You do what you want with it. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And remember, I'm merely your inspiration. Please feel free to play with anything that I do because that's what I do. I play with everybody else's hairstyles and try and figure out something that works best for me and my lifestyle. Alrighty, I will see you all next time. Until then, have a great day.